Okay guys, today we are making blackberry dumplings. Now these are the ingredients that you're gonna need to make the dumplings. You've got self-rising flour, granulated sugar, vegetable oil, milk, and two packages of frozen blackberries. All right, let's get started. All right, I just added my two packages of frozen blackberries, 12 ounces each into my pot. Now before I start this cooking, I'm gonna put some water in, uh, just enough to cover my blackberries, and then I'm gonna put it on to simmer. I put water in here, I put enough to, till that it covered about an inch above my berries. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add about two and a half cups of my sugar into my pot. Now I'm gonna give that just a little stir. All right, I'm going to gently stir them. I don't want to stir them too hard because I don't want them to break down too much yet. We're going to let this cook on medium and we'll come back and check it. And we're going to go work on the, the dough to make our dumplings. Uh, we're going to start making our dumpling batter. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add in our three cups of flour. All right, I'm going to make a little well in the middle. I'm going to add a half a cup of oil can use canola, vegetable oil, whichever one you have. And then the next thing I'm gonna add is one and one fourth a cup of milk. We can always add a little bit more if we need to. Then I'm just gonna stir this up till it's good and sticky. Now you can see that our dough is sticky and that's how you want it. We're gonna leave it just like this. I'm gonna go check on the berries. Our berries are starting to bubble just a little bit. So this is where I start dipping out just a few of them. And I put them in a bowl just to set them aside because I don't want them all disintegrated. So I'm gonna leave some in here that I, I want to let boil down. I want all that juice in the liquid. I'm gonna let these boil for about five minutes, and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna start adding my dumplings in. As they sit in here, uh, a lot of the juices will concentrate in the bottom, and then when we add them back in, it's gonna get the beautiful color and flavor. Come back and I check my juice. I want to make sure that when I get my juice up here, it's more concentrated and it's not too watery. And then I know I'm ready to put in my dumplings. Okay, my dumplings are on a low boil. I'm going to turn them down just a little bit. Don't want them to boil that much. All right, I'm going to take my spoon into my dumpling batter and I'm going to get me about a tablespoon and I'm going to drop it in there. All right, I'm going to let it coat it and I'm going to go do the same thing. continue adding more dumplings just drop them in and make sure that you're covering them with juice I almost got all of my dough in here and it smells delicious now if you don't want to make as much as I'm making all you have to do is half the recipe all right, that's my last one. I'm gonna turn it down a medium low and I'm gonna let it let these dumplings cook just for a minute. Now I'm not stirring them yet because I don't want them to turn to mush. Let's check on our blackberries. Look at all that concentrated juice. This kitchen smells awesome right now. All right, if you notice that it's getting too thick and your dumplings aren't quite done yet, you can always add just a little bit of water here and there, and it, it'll, it'll help thin it out just a little bit before you add back your berries. All right, my dumplings look like they're finished. Now I'm gonna slowly, I turned it down to simmer, and I'm gonna slowly add back in my berries.
Okay, I'm going to gently just stir them around just a little, not much. Because again, I don't want to mess up my awesome sauce and, and my dumplings. Okay, they should be ready in a couple more minutes. All right, here is our finished blackberry dumplings. We've got blackberries over here and we've got this beautiful sauce. We've got some small dumplings, some big dumplings. This is gonna be awesome. Some people like to have a little bit of ice cream with it, but I think they're great just like they are. Now, if you want to use fresh berries, just get um, just the same amount, 24 ounces of the blackberries. You can use canned, just use the same amount. All right, let me know if you like this recipe, if you try it, leave uh, comments um, down below. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. That lets you know when I have another great recipe for you to try. This is going to end my warm comfort dessert series. The next thing we're going to work on is some warm, delicious soups. So please stay tuned for those videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.